Une grande étoile québécoise s'est éteinte aujourd'hui. Michel Côté faisait partie de, du quotidien de millions de maisons québécoises pendant des décennies. Il nous a fait rire, il nous a fait pleurer. Je me souviens euh, d'avoir été tellement touché et inspiré par euh, son rôle dans Crazy, un des premiers films euh, avec lui que j'avais vu, que euh, ça, m, ça me reste toujours à ce jour euh, comme étant euh, quelque chose qui m'a vraiment bougé, qui m'a fait réagir. Euh, D'être un père comme ça... Euh, en tout cas, euh, c'était un grand artiste et euh, l'univers culturel et médiatique euh, et artistique québécoise euh, va perdre, va, va pleurer sa perte pendant longtemps. Um, Michel Côté was an extraordinary actor uh, who um, moved us all as Quebecers in so many different ways uh, and is one that uh, um, those who don't know who she, he is uh, would be uh, good to uh, view some of his films. I think uh, uh, his abilities as an actor and comedian were uh, legendary. Merci tout le monde. Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Singh wants the special rapporteur to step down. Bonjour. <laughs> Ben, c'était un, un artiste incroyable, un humoriste incroyable, mais il nous a tous touchés, entre autres, moi, personnellement, dans le film Crazy, je l'avais trouvé exceptionnel. J'ai eu la chance de le voir dans Brou aussi, donc c'est une grande perte pour le Québec, puis mes pensées sont évidemment avec la famille euh, immédiate, les amis, tout ça, là, mais c'est une grande perte pour le, le, le monde artistique au Québec. Au Québec. Merci. Uh, about the Alberta election, just your general thoughts. My thoughts are that Albertans are going to make their choice today. We'll see who the premier is tonight, and I encourage everybody to go out and vote. Donc, j'encourage tous les Albertains d'aller aux urnes aujourd'hui. Et plus tard aujourd'hui, on va savoir c'est qui le premier ministre de l'Alberta. I want to ask you about uh, Uganda and uh, this latest anti-LGBT uh, law that they have uh, enacted or seem to have enacted. What's, what's your reaction? Well, we have to stay vigilant in our own country, but we also have to raise our voices internationally when we see our rights taken away from people and uh, rights that were hard fought uh, being scaled back. Look, we don't have to go very far in our own country to look at people that are uh, trying to make sure that pride flags aren't flown. Uh, you don't have to go further than Oxford County to see that. Uh, Chilliwack, BC has had issues with uh, trans kids in school, and now we see even in uh, Atlantic provinces uh, the rights of kids to be who they are in school trying to be taken away. So we have to remain vigilant on LGBTQIS plus uh, rights here in Canada, and we have to stick up for them around the world as well. Okay. Back to Alberta, just sure. how do you envision the federal government working with whoever is elected next when it comes to, you know, the challenges related to climate change or capping emissions? Sure, as Minister of Alberta, my job has been since day one to find common ground and to work on files together. And whether it's been uh, Premier Notley's group in my first mandate or whether it was uh, Premier Kenny's group in the second mandate, uh, the job is to represent uh, all Albertans. And I can tell you when I'm on the doors talking with people, what they tell us is we elect municipal, provincial and federal reps to get the work done. We expect you all to work together. And that's my uh, that will be my approach with whoever the new cabinet cabinet and MLAs are after today's election. Thanks Good everyone. Merci. Guys. Thanks. Well, I mean, this isn't new money. It was announced uh, in the budget. And, you know, I go back, you know, the Prime Minister acknowledged what was happening around violence against Indigenous women and girls as a genocide, yet they're not investing uh, adequately in it. And I agree with the uh, chair of the uh, Family and Survivor Circle, the National uh, Family and, S and Survivor Circle, that it needs to be accountable. Uh, it needs to be, uh, you know, spent in, in, a, in a timely way, and it needs to be measurable goals. You know, the, the federal government has a habit of making these big announcements and then not spending the money. So we know about the money in the 2023 budget. We know they need to invest more if they're serious about uh, addressing this ongoing genocide, and they need to get that money money out the door, unlike uh, past monies that they've allocated, including from 2020, and we're still waiting for them to spend it. Okay, what about the idea, of, what do you think the idea of them uh, getting money for, setting aside, or putting money 
and clear money for men and boys as well. Well, I mean, absolutely. We we need to uh, look after everybody's health and well-being, uh, and certainly the the well-being uh, of men and boys. I, I absolutely think that's necessary. Uh, you know, it, Indigenous women and girls and diverse gendered uh, folks uh, are not perpetrating violence uh, on ourselves. Often it's happening at the hands of men and boys. So we need to make sure that we look after uh, men and boys as well. We need to make sure that they're healthy. So I do support that. Thank you very much. Thank you.